now, so normal for me. Step out. Fun fact: Before I had a kid, I used to buy a lot of sneakers for my nephew and shit. I was, I'm like a, I'm, a, I'm a good uncle, bro. Like I used to do so much for my nephew, it's crazy. Like before I had a kid, that's why everybody knew. Like you have a kid, you be a good parent, or you be like a spoil you, like a type to spoil your kids. Like I'm an Aquarius, you feel me? I like nice shit, and all my life I've been told, you feel me? You're mad expensive. So I'm happy I'm older because I got my own bag now and I don't got to hit nobody's mouth or expect nothing from nobody, you feel me? Because it, it, what I get is up to me. You know what I'm saying? Maggie, yo. What's good, boys? As y'all see by the title of this video, we're doing an unboxing right here. I'm trying to get back on my, my YouTube shit for the year 2024, feel me? I ain't really gonna say too much. I got me a little hoagie in the back, but this video is not really about food. I don't wanna touch the food in there. You feel me? Have to uh touch these bad boys right here. So as you see by the title, I'm about to be doing an unboxing of some sneakers. I just bought for my one year old, for my baby. Fun fact, this kid got more shoes than me. Yeah, I'm, I'm fake a sneakerhead. I ain't gonna say fake a sneakerhead because I was more of a sneakerhead when I was younger. Feel me? I liked a lot of phone posits. I liked a lot. I liked Jordans here and there. Feel me? I liked the. Um, I would say, you know, like, uh, feel me? How could I say? Nikes for sure. Uh, not really a, a designer head, like Mason Margellas and shit. Had a few pair of Gucci's. I think I had some. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? I really don't remember right now, but yeah, that's besides this point. I'm a sneakerhead, you feel me? So I'm definitely passing that luck, that luck onto my son. And yeah, I'm gonna make sure he got all the shoes, all sh all the shoes that I like for him. Feel me? But yeah, other than that though, right? Another thing too, I want to take y'all on a video, like on a vlog video, and go try to buy like. All 15 Jordans just for my boy in one day, if that makes sense. So I don't know if we're gonna spend like two thousand, three thousand, maybe one thousand. I doubt one thousand. You feel me? Cause maybe like fifteen hundred if we could find each shoe for less than a hundred bucks, which I doubt. But I want to try to get my son every, and I want to do it in one day, shopping at a few different stores. You feel me? It might be a long vlog, but it's gonna be a fun vlog, and we're going from every Jordan from one. 215 is it 15 i think there's only 15 correct me if i'm wrong is that crazy if that's crazy come on we're here to do it because that's what they call me crazy as you see by the title of this video again we looking at the the jordan retro sixes these are jordan retro six they they, they just dropped january 25th i want to say 26 could be the 24th but here's the shoe this is the tile size fun fact I want this fucking shoe, but I couldn't find my size nowhere. And who's to say I don't get it? I got a birthday in a few days, so maybe I get surprised. Like, like you know, I'm not really like a, a, how could I say it? Yeah, maybe I get surprised, a surprise or something. Only Brianna buys me gifts, so that's why she's the only person I buy gifts for. Fun fact, I take care of that girl. I'm the only person that buy her gifts too. Fun fact. But yeah, man. So, this is the shoe. I'm about to, uh, fun fact, here's the box. It's a plain box. I feel like, uh, with these retro sneakers, they always come in, like, um, with the retro Jordans, they always come in a, a simple black box. It's not like a, uh, anything special. I could be wrong, you feel me? But the last few pairs of retros I copped came in a regular box. They come with a nice little sticker. What I think I'm going to start to do is uh, tag up my son boxes with the stickers that come with his Jordans. And yeah. Let's look at these, baby. These shits is nice. So if you ask me, I'll rate these like a... I'll rate these like a 7.5 out of 10. Why? Because it's, it's a bright color shoe. But it's a fire shoe. It's obviously not a shoe you could wear with too much stuff. But you could definitely finesse this in all black. With some yellow in there. You feel me? Like, um... 
Damn, you could cop like a, yeah, like all black could go fire with this. Black and yellow, of course. I feel like black and yellow would be too much, though. Just because the shoe is, you know, black and yellow itself. But I'm feeling these shits, man. I paid a whopping lump sum of $75 for these Jordans that just came out. I paid a total lump sum of $75. I don't know if it's focused, if y'all can see that. But yeah, $75 for my boy Jay's. Fun fact, uh, the last Jordans he got before these was the Gratitudes. I do want to get him them uh, Plaid 15s. And yeah, bye. I'm about to do a... Uh, what you call it? The light is crazy. I gotta get some better light. But I'm about to do some... Uh, I'm about to do a... Uh, uh, not an unboxing, but a haul of all my boy shoes. Right now, these are size five and a half. What are these? These are size five and a half right here. Oh, these are five. Yeah, these are... F no, that's UK. These are size six. See, it say it right there. I'm bugging. Why I say five? Yeah, these are size six right here. And yeah, my boy soon be a seven. I ain't going front. He got mad shoes he got to still grow into. But he got a lot of shoes that he also grew out of. So yeah, you feel me? I'm going to hype these dad. Definitely going to make sure I keep my son fly. He's a boy. I feel like when it comes to boys, you got to keep them a little more fly than the girls. Only because like when it comes to girls, girls could wear cheap shit. Like girls could go to rainbows and put on some $2 skirt and look that ass good. But I feel like a, a boy can't do that. You know what I'm saying? Like... Even when it comes to myself and my shorty before we had kids, you know what I'm saying? Like, I always have to go an extra mile. A, a, not an extra mile, but, like, it's simple for a nigga to get dressed. Excuse my language. It's simple for a guy to get dressed, but we got to spend more money to dress, if that makes sense. You feel me? Dress to impress. And these shoes, to me, are very impressive. They're, 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 they're I don't want to say immaculate, but they're impressive. You feel me? To see me and my son, Annie's. Will be very fly, you feel me? And yeah, he gonna be twinning with daddy. We about to start doing a lot of twinning, uh, like, I'm you feel me? Because that's my son. Like, next child is a girl, I'm gonna be buying her and Brianna the same shoes, feel me? Gangster, nigga, like, feel me? I ain't gonna be, you feel me? I mean, we could all be twinning sometimes, but really, though, yeah, Brianna's kind of picky when it comes to shoes. She be like, oh, that's too boyish, that's too boyish. I told her straight up, listen, I'm about to just start copying you shoes. I don't care if you think that's too boyish. I don't care if you think, you know what I'm saying? It's too masculine. Bro, just rock it out. Duck it out with your family. Be like, we about to be twinning it real quick. You feel me? And then we got a little picnic now. So, you know I'm on. Feel me? Step out. Fun fact, before I had a kid, I used to buy a lot of sneakers for my nephew and shit. I was, I'm like a, I'm, I'm a good uncle, bro. Like, I used to do so much for my nephew. It's crazy. Like, before I had a kid, that's why everybody knew, like, you have a kid, you be a good parent. Or you be like a spoil you, like the type to spoil your kids. Like, I'm an Aquarius, you feel me? I like nice shit. And all my life I've been told, you feel me? You're mad expensive. So I'm happy I'm older because I got my own bag now and I don't got to hit nobody's mouth. Or expect nothing from nobody, you feel me? Because what I get is up to me. You know what I'm saying? Like... I'm not reaching for mommy or daddy or, you know what I'm saying? Looking for no nobody to do shit for 